Hello again, Cardini. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt collectible of the day. It's really a Phillies collectible, but I just want to show it off. I have here a plaque. Phillies all-time greats. I'll tell you, I kind of cheated on this one. This one came from a chain store. I'm not sure how universal the chain store is called the Rally House. Sporting goods, sports collectibles, and apparel store for your local teams. So obviously up here in the Philly area, these are the Phillies. And it came with, this plaque literally came like this. With, um, it actually had eight different cards in it. And I swapped out the ones I wanted, <laughs> believe it or not. The only one in this plaque that's original is that Pacific Greats, Richie Ashburn. I think that's a decent card. But I put in, you could you get know, little, little screw holders, you could unscrew them. And I popped in all the the uh, greats that I felt deserved to be in a Phillies all-time greats plaque. So there's my Schmidt card. I believe that's a 2013 Archives card. Here's my Steve Carlton. That's a 2019 Chrome, I believe, Chrome insert Carlton. Panini Cooperstown, Robin Roberts. All of those guys are Hall of Fame members and Phillies, you know, retired numbered legends. Down here you have Chuck Klein, uh, another uh, Philly great back of the day and Hall of Famer. Then you get to some of the modern guys, Chase Utley, Jimmy Rollins, and Darren Dalton. You got Darren Dalton's black gold card from 93. So that is my plaque of Philly's all-time great, Mr. Schmidt prominently displayed. Um, I'm really looking for input from the Philly guys out there, all you Philly people. Who do you think I'm missing? Or, I only got eight spots, that's all I can do. I can swap them out from time to time. So who, who on this, in that plaque, needs to be replaced with somebody better? So, you know, if you're a Philly guy, and you're a Philly fan, and you know all about your Phillies, let me know. I mean, Mike Schmidt, the top row pretty much ain't going anywhere. That top row, that's set in stone. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to convince me somebody else needs to take that. I think it's more it's the bottom row that's up for grabs. So, who should be on a Phillies all-time great team? And let me know. Today's random baseball collectible of the day. Something I want to show off that'll lead into something later on. My random baseball collectible of the day is another Philly item, but it's a little flat cap. I call them Jeff Caps. This one was a giveaway at the stadium. It has Richie Ashburn facsimile signature because people who are Phillies fans know that Richie Ashburn used to wear those kinds of caps all the time. So, I don't know what year this came out. It's heavily worn. I, I wear it daily almost. So, these are the kind of caps I wear all the time. And uh, I don't know. I, don't, I can't see from this tag. It's impossible to read anymore. But what year? I'm sure it was in the mid-80s. Or, you know, the, the logo suggests the 80s. That's the 80s style logo. Uh, but I actually have, for you Philly fans out there and fans of Richie Ashburn... I own three of these exact caps. So, uh, just letting you know. So that's my random Philly item of the day. My random baseball item of the day. My trivia question for today. Simple one again. I like to keep it simple these days. Every once in a while I'll throw a hard one at, at it. Uh, on what date was the first night game played in baseball? First baseball night game was played when? And who were the participants? Which two teams were in that game? So if you can tell me when was the first night game played and who were the two teams, what I'm going to send to you is two tins from this year's baseball. They are empty. They're just the shells of the tins. But what I will do is fill each of them with about, uh, well, how many cards does it say there is in the tins? I don't know if it said. I thought it said. No, it doesn't say. But I'll pop in at least 30, to, if not 50 cards 
uh, random, you know, cool cards for you guys to consume. So you'll get yourself about 100 cards as well. If you can tell me who is, you know, on what date was the first night game played in baseball? And what were the two participant teams? So there you go. <clears throat> so now, today, it's a mail day. I want to show you some stuff I got in keeping with the hat. Again, these are the, I love those style hats. I own, you know, several of those hats of that style. And I love that it was a Phillies one, a baseball one. And I would love to find more baseball ones. Well, one day, sure enough, uh, my good friend Kevin over at Kevin's Budget Card Break says he's having an auction. He's selling some stuff. And one of the things he's selling are these two beauties. Two Montreal Expos flat caps. I couldn't believe it. I was like, Kevin, they're mine. Tell me what you want for it. Put it aside. Send it to me with your next break. Sure enough, he did. So I got a blue one, which is great because I've been looking for a blue flat cap. You just don't see too many blue ones. And a red one, both with the old school, awesome Montreal Expos logo on them. Those are fantastic. So I appreciate Kevin sending me these hats. I don't know if you guys love them. I love these hats. I wear them proudly now, Kevin, just so you know. In addition... I mentioned to Kevin that I had two of those tins, so I'm going to have to start collecting the others. I said, hey, you know, you know me, there's only six of them, and I'm a set collector, so, you know, I had the Harper, and I had the Trout. Those are the ones I'm giving away. So I said, well, maybe you could hook me up with the other ones. You know what he sent me? He sent me the whole set. So there are six of them. He sent me another Harper and another Trout so I can get rid of the extras I have. But I got the Javier Baez from the Cubs. I got the, and I'm going to guess this one wrong. I, I believe this is Cody Bellinger on the Cubs. It might be Corey Seager, but I think that's Bellinger on the Dodgers, I mean. And I got Acuna Jr. on the Braves. And lastly, Aaron Judge. All right, so... Those are the six tins that were produced for this year's Tops tins. And I got the whole set now, thanks to Kevin. That's another thing Kevin sent me <coughs> when we last had it, when we had our last break. Now I'm going to show you the cards. Again, just the highlights. I put all the base cards away already, not really going to show them off we've well i didn't put all the base away but i kept it simple today show you what i got from kevin's last breaks an andrew benintendi 2021 rainbow foil card manny machado baseball card day i'm still trying to collect all of these uh 2020 national baseball card day there's a 30 card set or so and i'm trying still tr working on getting all of these there's a Vato National Baseball Card Day from this year. Interesting, because I went down to, on National Baseball Card Day, I went down to my LCS, and my guy who didn't participate in that, I was very sad. A lot of base rookie cards. Here's a Holiday Tommy Edmond. Some more base rookies. Uh, nobody's jumping out at me. A lot of Holidays he threw in here, which is kind of cool. This is interesting. I was a little bummed, Kevin. I want to let you know. This, this is a 2020 Top Gallery, the artist's card, okay? Now, it's not that I don't mind getting this. It's just that there's uh, nine featured artists on uh, Gallery, and they have three of these three-panel cards. I'm actually going to try and collect all three of them. I have two. This, I was hoping, was the one I didn't have, but it's not. I have this one. I'm going to have to let you know, Kevin, which one I, I don't have in case you come across it. Uh, let everybody out. The put in the description below the one I don't have. So if anybody has these 2020 Top Gallery artist cards, there's one I'm missing, and I'd like to get it for my to complete that collection. So Alan Gibter cards, a Johnny Bench, a, a Joey Vato Holiday uh, rookie card, Alan Ginter Holiday, 
Zach Gallon Holiday. Uh, a couple uh, um, Topps Gallery things. Dalton Varsha. It's Dalton Varsha, isn't it? Yeah. Dalton Varsha. You need to take a step back again. Um, Dalton Varsha is the son of a former Philly named Gary Varsha. Uh, utility player for a number of years for the Phillies. Nothing special. Briefly managed. He had like a one-day management stint when the manager of the team got fired on the last day and uh, Gary Varsho became the interim manager for a day. Dalton Varsho's first name is Dalton because of Darren Dalton, uh, the Phillies' longtime catcher. And J Dalton Varsho's middle name is John because of John Vukovic, longtime coach and uh, all-around great fan favorite Philly. So um, Dalton Varsho's father is highly associated with the Phillies. And so, you know, Philly people out there, uh, we should keep an eye on Dalton Varsho because he's part of the family, so to, so to speak. So just a little background on Dalton Varsho. Some more holiday. Boo, boo, boo. Some cool Alan Ginter at the end here. I got a mini Paul Molitor, which is really neat. And it's the, uh, the Alan and Ginter back, not the standard back, but just kind of neat. Got a nice Willie Mays. And a couple more gallery cards. A couple more things here. Alan Ginta, Mickey Moniac. This is my Philly stack. A lot of holiday. Some 2015 cards. A nice Cliff Lee there. Carlton. Didn't get the Schmidt, unfortunately. John Cruck, the Crucka. And some of the current stars here. I think that's a Mickey Moniac. Yeah, so I got a couple Mickey Moniac rookies now which is not hard to believe because i'm always buying the phillies when i buy into a break here's an aaron nola yellow spencer howard who is no longer with the phillies a lot of bowman i actually have a lot of bowman a lot of tops this was a cool find happy to have this one jt real muto holiday bat relic that's awesome got a couple jt real muto cards that are um, uh, relics now. That's why I always buy into the Phillies, uh, Kevin. I'm always trying to get those random wild inserts you never find once in a while. Don Brown. Don Brown was a huge, highly touted prospect for the Phillies at one time. We just didn't pan out. A couple cool opening days. I always say this, these opening day cards freak me out when I see them because this red color we all associate it with a parallel. Like, oh my gosh, this is like a limited number out of two or something like that. But no, opening day this year went with a red border. So these are simply uh, your standard opening day 2008 Phillies cards. So, and then a couple more things. So that's what I got. I, I will say this is for, from Kevin. I also got, I uh, also picked up a couple um I told him I was trying to put together the um, Topps Bowman uh, Chrome set, you know, Chrome Prospects from this year. And he sent me a ton of Chrome Prospect cards to fill out that collection. I appreciate that greatly, Kevin. Still down to 17 cards, so uh, I'm going to maybe put a list down there of what my uh, 17 missing Topps Chrome Prospects cards are. If anybody's got them, let me know. And... Um, also trying to complete a couple other random sets, and Kevin hooked me up with that, so thanks a lot, Kevin. I will put a link to Kevin's channel in the description below, as I always do. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Tell me if you thought uh, one of those cards was your favorite, or if you think I should burn one of those cards. Uh, again, please let me know, if you're a Philly guy, who you think should be in a plaque of the eight greatest Phillies ever. Uh, in case I need to update that uh, thing. So, and don't forget the trivia question. I'll repeat the trivia question in the description below, along with a reminder of what the prize is. So please uh, jump on and check that out. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you soon. Take care.